Our Daily Bread for Kids, 365 Meaningful Moments with God, by Crystal Bowman and Terry McKinley. August 28th. As I walked around, I looked carefully at the things you worship. I even found an altar to an unknown God written on it. Now I'm going to tell you about this unknown God that you worship. Acts 17, 23. Paul chooses the right words. One day, the Apostle Paul was walking through the city of Athens. He saw many idols and false gods. The people believed in so many false gods that someone had even built a monument to an unknown god. Paul talked to the people about Jesus, but they didn't understand. Many people in Athens enjoyed talking about new ideas. So some people invited Paul to a meeting where all of the smart men and deep thinkers met. Please explain to us what you've been teaching, they said. We want to know what it means. Paul talked about the monument to an unknown God. He said to the people, I will tell you who the unknown God is. Paul told how the one true God created the world. He explained that God was too great to live in a house made by people. He told them that Jesus is God's son who rose from the dead. Some people laughed at Paul's teaching, but some of them listened and believed and decided to follow Jesus. Paul was a good teacher because he talked to people in a way they could understand. He put the story of Jesus into words that made sense to others. I can help other people understand who Jesus is. Sometimes you might talk to people who don't know about Jesus. They might not understand the words people use in church. But like Paul, you can talk to others in a way they can understand. The story of Jesus isn't hard. You can ask God to give you the right words to tell others about Jesus, and he will help you. Read more. Read Acts 7, 48-50. Paul told the people in Athens that God was too great to live in a house made by people. According to these verses, where is God's throne? Fun fact, Paul preached about the unknown God at a place called Mars Hill. People still visit Mars Hill in Athens, Greece, and a metal sign on the hill reminds tourists of Paul's sermon. If you enjoyed this devotion and would like to hear more, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.